hippo is um, the most unusual parrot and arguably the most unusual bird in the world. It's uh, unlike anything else. It is a parrot, but it doesn't behave like a parrot. It's, um, for a start, uh, it's flightless. It's the only flightless parrot in the world. Uh, secondly, it's a giant. You know, it's the giant of the parrot world. It's, it's heavier than any, any other parrot. Uh, it's nocturnal. It only comes out at night. It uh, has a bizarre mating system uh, called a lek mating system where the males, uh, they put all their energy into display and attracting females for mating and uh, then they play no further part in parental care. So it is really a highly aberrant uh, parrot. Um, there's nothing like them. They're extremely long-lived. They have the lowest metabolic rate of any bird so far measured. And uh, we don't know how long they live because none of us have lived long enough to follow a kakapo through its life. But we can hazard a guess, uh, maybe um, you know, 80 to even over 100 years. Okay, so very long-lived, very unusual. Um, and uh, once very uh, well adapted and very common to, you know, in, in New Zealand, very well adapted to the New Zealand environment. But there's just one thing they can't uh, cope with, and that is uh, predatory mammals, you know, feral cats, rats, and, uh, and stoats and members of the weasel family. You know, they, they can't cope with these, uh, and uh, yeah, they, they, they rapidly become extinct when these things are present. So um, we're left with the survivors of uh, a once uh, abundant population and uh, uh, the numbers dropped as to as low as 51 birds at one time you know in uh, 19, 1995 there were only 51 kakapo in existence virtually all of those birds were uh, birds of unknown age they were the original founders from Stewart Island and one surviving founder from Fjordland we didn't know how old they were and therefore we didn't know how long they had to live so it was quite possible that uh, these birds could have you know, died within a very short space of time and the species would have gone extinct. Uh, fortunately that didn't happen and uh, they proved to be extremely long-lived and uh, since 1995 the population has been in recovery and today uh, we have 129 and uh, the young birds that have been hatched on these offshore island sanctuaries uh, now outnumber the original founders so we've, we've basically replaced the